Hey guys, today I'm working on this old table that I made a few years ago. It's still holding up pretty well, although it's starting to get pretty rickety. So I'm going to uh, make it look a lot prettier, but I'll mainly to strengthen it so it doesn't wibble and wobble all over the place. And it creaks a bit now. Uh, I'll show you a little bit later. Sadly, I managed to not hit the record button when I was sanding off the top. Uh, so you can see now it's brown, um, but originally it was gray because it had been sitting outside in the direct sun and direct rain for several years, so it had completely grayed out. So I took uh, my random orbital sander with, I think it was an 80 grit sandpaper and then went 120. Uh, now I'm adding um, boiled linseed oil mixed with, uh, is it mineral spirits, uh, to, to thin it out. Uh, for the first coat um, and then I'll add once that's cured for a couple days I'll add another coat of just 100% uh, boiled linseed oil and it really brings out the color and while that first uh, coat of uh, boiled linseed oil cures that first coat that was mixed with the mineral spirits I'll take off the top and put it on some sawhorses so it can cure while I work on the rest of the table And this is uh, why you add more supports to the middle. You can see it's got that it's bowed down the length of it. I can't do much to fix that, uh, but I can prevent it from bowing any further. The top was attached with just pocket hole screws, so I'm just removing those and asking my lovely assistant to help move the table over to the soft horses. Now you can see the base of the table without the tabletop on it. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm surprised it wasn't even more wobbly than it was. There's really not enough structure and support to this. For a complete list of instructions and materials and tools and all that, there's a link in the description. My family knows that I do a lot of my videos in time lapse, but what they don't know is that I film it in regular and just speed it up where I need to. <laughs> my husband is such a goofball. Now I've got the basic frame done. The extra scraps of 2x4 on the ground there, uh, I was just using those to hold up the wood so the gap underneath those bottom pieces are all about an inch and a half off the ground. It's just convenient to do inch and a half since I had scrap 2x4 laying around. The worst part of any build, I think, is the sanding. Uh, I think I just did 80 grit here because I knew I was going to paint it.
I screw little plastic feet on the bottom so the end grain of the legs isn't sitting directly on the concrete which could soak up water and lead to rot. Put a coat of uh, water-based polyurethane over the black paint to give it some added protection and it's done. Uh, when you build yours from scratch, yours will be a little less wonky than mine. It won't have the warped top. I had to shorten the uh, middle leg on mine just to accommodate for that bow that it had. Uh, but hopefully yours won't have that issue since you'll build all that extra support in it. But even that being said, uh, I had a great table for years before I had any issue with it. So even if you don't know what you're doing, just go build it anyway. Just take all the proper safety precautions you need to do. <laughs> okay, that's about all I got. Happy building.